the topic of determinants is very important coming to gate um, after this uh, symmetric matrices and skew symmetric uh, the next most asked questions are from uh, determinants only and later uh, eigenvalues they are also important um, now let's see about the determinants generally a determinant and a matrix are actually different the reason is a matrix is actually an array of uh, rows or an array of columns right and that is the arrangement of the numbers in such a way that all these numbers doesn't make any sense in the sense uh, you know they don't have any value but coming to a determinant it is also an arrangement of numbers you know in a kind of matrix but then all these numbers together are going to have a numerical value so remember this a determinant is different from a matrix in such a way that uh, a determinant will have value associated with this which means you can even ask what is the value of this determinant whenever you see a determinant you can ask the question what is the value of this uh, determinant but then you cannot ask such a question when you see a matrix right so let's let's see this example now uh, generally determinants are represented by using these uh, vertical lines so we put two vertical lines and within that we array within them we arrange the numbers and then we use the symbol delta in, in order to represent the uh, determinants so various textbooks have various conventions in this uh, complete lecture series i am going to follow the convention that delta represents a determinant okay and now um, unlike matrices matrices can be of any size but then determinants should always be of a square kind which means either you can have 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 in general n by n matrices which means you cannot have uh, n by m determinants so it is a 2 by 2 size it is also called as determinant of order 2 order 2 right and like this you can even have determinant of order uh, 3 by 3 which is called as determinant of order 3 right and the value of this determinant see this is called the determinant and now we can we can talk about what is the value of the determinant right so the value of the determinant in case of 2 by 2 matrix can be obtained like this you have a 2 by 2 matrix you take the principal diagonal elements product them and then subtract them with the other non diagonal elements which means the value of this determinant uh, this one is a11 into a22 minus a12 into a21 right so in your calculator since calculators are allowed in the gate examination in your calculator there are already methods in to find out the value of the determinant of 2 by 2 or 3 uh, by 3 sizes Uh, but the problem is they are not directly going to ask you uh, what is the value of this determinant instead uh, they will they, they instead of giving the numerical values they are going to give you some uh, you know uh, this um, uh, variables like this they might ask you they will give you something like this a b c d f something like this f g h something like this and then they'll ask you what is the value of this determinant in case if these are you know just the numbers you can directly type you know type them in the calculator and get the answer but then if the variables are given it is very difficult for you to type these uh, variables or or you know they your calc will fail at this method therefore finding out the determinants of bigger matrices even though i'm going to tell you the method there will be some properties therefore using the properties we'll be able to find out the determinants of uh, bigger matrices easily i'll just show you with examples okay so i think you understood the this one it is the determinant of 2 by 2 right of order 2 let's see the determinant of order 3 okay now let's see how to find out the determinant of a uh, order 3 so it is called determinant of order 3 because it looks like a 3 by 3 matrix isn't it the size is 3 by 3 that is why it is called as determinant of order 3 so uh, before going to find out the determinant we should know two terms here so one is called as minor and the other is called as cofactor okay so what is the minor of element is you take an element in the in this determinant and just remove the row and column passing through that element then the remaining whatever you get right that uh, the determinant of the remaining elements is called as minor for example you take this one right and the row passing through it is this and the column passing through it is this you remove them 
and the remaining elements are these four isn't it now these four elements if you take the determinant of these four elements that is called as minor of a11 so which means minor of a11 is equal to you remove the row and the column and the remaining elements you take the determinant of them that is called the minor then what do we get a22 a23 a32 a33 this is called the minor right and the cofactor is cofactor so cofactor of a11 is we take the minor itself exactly right a22 a23 a32 and then a33 and we multiply with minus 1 power the indices 1 plus 1 right so what is this minus 1 power 1 plus 1 is uh, minus plus 1 therefore cofactor and minor of this element both are same but sometimes cofactor and, uh, and minor uh, will be opposite symbols which means if it is positive it will be negative in some cases whenever you have uh, you know these uh, uh, indices as uh, odd some of the indices is odd for example if you want to find out the cofactor and mi minor of a12 you can find it out this way minor minor of a12 remove the row and the column passing through this uh, a12 this is the row passing through a12 and this is the column passing through a12 and then take the remaining elements and you find out the determinant and that is called as minor right so if i take if i remove this uh, column and this row the remaining elements will be these four right and so i am going to find out the determinant of those four elements as they are uh, you know um, order two determinants see i already told you that every matrix is going to be of n by n which means uh, every determinant is going to be of a kind of square matrix right and whenever you remove one row and one column the resulting elements are also going to form a square isn't it in that case uh, you know we are again going to find out the determinants of the square matrices itself whatever size it is we can use this same one right okay let's find out the first ma minus and then cofactors then i'll tell you how to find out the determinant huh. What is the minor of it? A12. You remove the row and the column and you take the remaining elements and you put them there. A21, A23 and A31, A33. Right? And what about the cofactor? Cofactor of A12 is minus 1 power. You add these two, 1 plus 2 right indices so in this case it happens to be 1 plus 2 is 3 therefore it is going to be negative so whatever is the minor of a12 negation of that number is going to be the cofactor so in this case it so happened that minor and cofactor are uh, having opposite signs and here minor and cofactor are having same signs right so a21 a23 a31 a33 got it so this is how we find out the minor and cofactor so once you understood what is the minor and cofactor we can now go ahead and find the determinant of order 3 so what is the determinant of order 3 is you can take either one row or one column uh, any column right so either you can take this row or you can take this column or you can take any row and any column right and then take each element and apply the product with the cofactor for example, if you take A11, you take A11 and multiply with the cofactor of, the cofactor of A11 and you take the next element and do the same and then sum them up. Therefore, determinant of any n by n matrix or any n by n determinant of order n is you take a row and then find out in that row the cofactor of each element, multiply the cofactor with the corresponding element and then sum, sum them all. So, sum every element. See, multiply every element with its corresponding cofactor and then sum them all across one row. If you take it across one row, it is also called as expanding over that row. So, you can do it on any row. So, which means I am just going to take this here. What is the value of this determinant is? I am going to take the element A11, right? And then I am going to multiply it 
with the cofactor with its cofactor so what is the cofactor of a11 this one right so it is going to be minus 1 for 1 plus 1 i'm going to multiply with this a22 a23 a32 and a33 and i think you know what the value of this determinant is that is determinant of order order 2 it is a22 into a33 minus a23 into a32 right plus again you take this second element and you multiply with its corresponding cofactor so what is second element a12 a12 into what is the cofactor of a12 this one right here minus 1 power 1 plus 2 into a21 a23 a31 a33 right plus again you take the third one which is a13 a13 into minus 1 power 1 plus 3 multiplied with the cofactor of this one right so cofactor is already have taken minus into if you if you remove this row and this column these four are remaining so what are they a21 a22 a331 and a32 got it so you can do the same you know in order to find out the determinant you can either do it across this row or you can even do it across this column also which means the same can be done across this column therefore one other way of finding out the uh, you know determinant of order 3 is a11 into minus 1 power 1 plus 1 into you multiply with its minor right plus i am expanding it over this column plus a21 into minus 1 power 2 2 plus 1 into multiply with the minor of a21 because i have already multiplied with minus 1 therefore it is going to be a cofactor plus a31 into minus 1 power 3 plus 1 into multiply it with the minor of a31 right and now this this product this sum as well as this sum both are going to act as determinants and they have the same value as well so you can even find out over across this that is called expansion over this row or expand it over this column or expand it over this row you can do it across any row or any column in any matrix in any determinant you can expand determinant over any row or any column you are going to get the same value right and uh, coming to the practical purposes which one should you choose is the one which is easier to calculate for example if a row is containing many zeros right then it is better to expand the determinant over that row because many of the elements are going to be zeros and it will be easier for you to evaluate the value right therefore it is it is up to you whichever you use but then this is the general formula this is the general uh, method now we shall see what are the properties of the determinants and then using the properties of the determinants i will show you many examples about how to expand the find the value of the determinants in case you are going to have the values okay fine